Welcome to my music and movies channel. Today we will present the biography and filmography of Mark Knopfler. Mark Freuder Knopfler, born August 12, 1949, is a British singer-songwriter, guitarist, and record producer. Born in Scotland and raised in England, he was the lead guitarist, singer, and songwriter of the rock band Dire Straits. He pursued a solo career after the band first dissolved in 1988. Dire Straits reunited in 1990, but dissolved again in 1995. He is now an independent solo artist. Knopfler was born in Glasgow, Scotland, and raised in Blythe, near Newcastle in England, from the age of seven. After graduating from the University of Leeds and working for three years as a college lecturer, Knopfler co-founded Dire Straits with his younger brother, David Knopfler. The band recorded six albums, including Brothers in Arms, 1985, one of the best-selling albums in history. After they disbanded in 1995, Knopfler began a solo career and has produced nine solo albums. He has composed and produced film scores for nine films, including Local Hero, 1983, Cal, 1984, The Princess Bride, 1987, Wag the Dog, 1997, and Altamira, 2016. He has produced albums for Tina Turner, Bob Dylan, and Randy Newman. Described by classic rock as a virtuoso, Knopfler is a fingerstyle guitarist and was ranked 27th on Rolling Stone's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. As of 2009, he and Dire Straits had sold more than 120 million records. A four-time Grammy Award winner, Knopfler is the recipient of the Edison Award, the Steiger Award and the Ivor Novello Award, as well as holding three honorary doctorate degrees in music from universities in the United Kingdom. Knopfler was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Dire Straits in 2018. In my personal opinion of this group, the first time I heard them was when I was a child in 1989. Some cousins of mine, older than me, had put the song on an acetate disc, Money for Nothing, I loved it, a decade later I heard that same song on a compilation album of music from the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s, until in 2015 on a cable channel in my country, TCM. I saw a great concert by this group, Dire Straits on the Night by 1992, I really liked this concert, so much so that I downloaded the discography of this group and became a fan, until today doing this biography of their great vocalist. So far the biography of this great musician on his 73rd birthday. Follow me on my channel Music and Movies, subscribe, like my videos, activate the bell and see you in the next video. Subscribe, like my videos, activate the bell. People talk about career to me, you know, your career sometimes, and it's just a word that I don't use. I don't think in terms of commercial or career or... You mean you find yourself, because you do music and, it's, and a lot of people find room for it all over the world, or people find space for it, people enjoy it, people relate to it, uh, you find yourself in the music business, which is quite different from music. For instance, when I met Mark, he was he was playing in a rockabilly band, just playing the guitar, and he and he had songs that he wanted to do himself, and he he wanted a vehicle for those songs, yeah. and by meeting in a you know in in a certain circumstances, you find the sort of people that you can actually make that thing happen with, and then it just sort of yeah, it's a feel thing, that. you know, it's a. It's just a, um, a field thing. You know that the time is there. In many ways, success came late for you fellas. I mean, you're now in your 30s. Why couldn't you have had the success at, say, 20? You have to start somewhere. I mean, we started playing guitars when we were 15, 14, 15 years of age. And suddenly and you start, something starts to happen with your guitar playing or your feeling for music in a big way when you're about 25 or 26. There's no rules about it. I mean, some people do actually manage to kick off pretty early. Uh, you know, as it happened, about the second album time, we'd been touring a lot and we were all, you know, pretty, pretty much frazzled, you know, we were, uh, fried up. And uh, I think that uh, if 
If we'd been 20 then, I don't think that we would have made it. Mark, in, in talking to you, I get the feeling that perhaps you're not a performing type person. Is it difficult for you to get up on stage? I enjoy it. I enjoy it, performing. Mm. It satisfies a certain side of your character too. You can get an incredible release from being up there. You know, it's almost... I'm sort of liking it, almost like making love, you know, I know this is not a kids' programme, but it's like that. It's like it's really a very sort of sensational thing sometimes. And it's an incredibly physical thing. It makes you, makes you feel really good inside. I mean, I'm not one of those um, artists, you know, who, uh, who regards their performance as a favour to the audience. I, I kind of like to think of it in uh, as just as much the other way around, where uh, the audience are favouring you by, by coming. And, um, it's a mutual, it's very much a mutual thing. The, the audience is very much, uh, the people who are really into the music are very much a part of the performance.